so in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you another outfit from the outfit transfer glitch so remember that with the outfit transfer glitch you do lose all your outfit except for only one so before you do the glitch you want to put on the outfit that you don't want to lose also you want to go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece it doesn't matter which one you buy just go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece oh once you're ready oh to start God. the glitch, just come over here to the clothing store, set your spawn location to last location, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to swap characters. So one more time, you are going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So before you do it, just go ahead and put on the outfit that you don't want to lose. And this outfit is only going to be for the male characters. So you got to main a male character if you want to do this glitch. And also, if you don't have the orange joggers, don't worry about it. As you can see, I don't got them right now, but before we do the transfer glitch, I'm going to show you guys how to get the orange joggers. So if you don't got the orange joggers like me, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to get it before we um, transfer the outfit to get the whole complete outfit. So once you get in here, your main character has to be on the left side and it got to be a male. So if your main character isn't on the left side, you're not going to be able to do a glitch. So your main character has to be on the left side and has to be a male. But once you get in here, all you want to do is go over to your second character and it's going to say edit or delete under your second character. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters are going to come in and then you're going to get the edit option under your second character. Once you get an edit option under your second character, just go ahead and select that. When you're going, you're going to get an alert that says, do you want to copy your stuff over? Just go ahead and accept it. When your second character comes in here, if it ended up being a male like mine, just change it into a female. And if it's already a female, just leave it as a female, save and continue, and then make a name for it, and then take the picture. After you take the picture and it's loading, it may or may not play the casino DLC trailer. For me, it doesn't play it, but for some of you guys, it may play it. Whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You guys are just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. Once you get spawned inside of your new session, first thing you want to do is open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you got to do is go to online and find a new session or just switch sessions and then the clothing stores are going to be inside of your new session. But if you do see the clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one. So if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, just switch sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be in that new session. But if you do see the clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and make your way over to any of them. Once you get inside the clothing store, first you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Come to fitted suit jackets and buy the cyan bolden blazer. So just come over here to the fitted suit jackets and buy the cyan bolden blazer. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you got that, just go ahead and back out. You want to make your way over to the pants section. Go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants, which are going to be the first one. So come over here to the pants section, go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. Once you have that, just go ahead and make your way over to the shoes. Go to the boots and buy the chocolate slack boots. So just come over here to the shoes, go to the boots and purchase the chocolate slack boots. So these right here, just go ahead and buy them. Once you got that, just go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. And when you come over here to the accessories, if your female character has any earrings on, make sure you take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings and that could mess the glitch up. So if you have earrings on, just go ahead and take them off. Once you take off your earrings, just go ahead and make your way over to the gloves and buy the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves, which are gonna be number four. So just come buy the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the... Oh, before you save the outfit, make sure you put on the light body armor. So open up your inventory or inventory and then go to your body armor and just put on the light body armor. Once you put on the light body armor, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save the outfit, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So for me, my outfit with the white joggers on my main character is in slot 20. So I will just save this inside of a different slot. So just save the outfit on the empty slot that's on your main character.
all right so once you save the outfit you just want to go ahead and back out make your way over to the top section again go to the biker cuts and purchase the patched darted vest so just come over here to the top section go to biker cuts and purchase the patched darted vest there's like lots of stuff everywhere So this right here, just go ahead and buy that. Once you got that, you just want to go ahead and open up your inventory or your inventory. And then you want to go to the body armor and put on the heavy body armor. So make sure you put on the heavy body armor. So once you've got that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. Go to the gloves and make sure you put on the light woodland tactical gloves again. So you transfer the um, racing gloves over to your outfit. So just come over here to the accessories and make sure you put on the light woodland tactical gloves again. And those are going to be number four. And once you've got the gloves on, just go ahead and go save the outfit. And when you save it, just go ahead and save it right underneath of your previous outfit. So you're going to have only two outfits in total. So just come save this outfit right underneath of your previous outfit once you got that saved just gonna hit your bag button go to the um, standard outfits and purchase the chica outfit once you got that just go ahead and back out Hit your pause button, go to online, and click on creator. Once you load inside a creator, just go ahead and click on create a race, and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, just click on race details. Go ahead and fill out the title and the description. You don't have to put in anything specific for it. I just type in random stuff for it. And then go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and then put the route type on point to point. Once you have that, hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit B, go to placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, back out of that. Click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it and then back out of that and then click on the checkpoints. Now when you're placing the checkpoints, the race has to be 0.62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made it 0.62 miles or longer, just hit your back button twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out. When you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, hit your pause button, go to online and go to choose character. So from here, all you want to do is go over to your second character, which is going to be the female character, and you're going to delete her. So make sure you go over to your second character and delete her. You don't want to delete your main character by accident. So go over to your second character that has a Chica outfit on and make sure you delete her. Once you delete your second character, two new characters are going to come in. From here, all you want to do is just hit B so it takes you into single player. So when the two new characters come in, just hit your back button and it's going to take you into single player.
once you get to single player all you're gonna do is just hit your pause button go to online go to play gt online and just go inside of a invite only session so all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session Once you load it online, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be safe, so come save it. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. So once you've got this outfit saved, now we're going to get the orange joggers. To get the orange joggers, all you got to do is just hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar, create it, go to versus, and start up the job called truck off. And when you start up the job called truck off, you want to put the clothing on themed and you're gonna invite either a friend or a random it's probably better if you invite a friend because they're gonna know not to kill you so just invite either a friend or a random if you want but make sure you put the clothing on themed so once you get in here you just want to go over to the versus outfits and look for insects now you're gonna get the purple joggers and all you got to do is just go over to um, view team and switch teams and then you're going to be on the other team and you could get the um orange joggers so just go ahead and put the versus outfit on insects and then just go ahead and view teams and then switch to this team and tell your friend to go on the um other team or your friend could start up a job and then make the settings and all that and you don't have to switch teams but it doesn't matter so whichever way you want to do it so once you get inside the um job or the mission all you're gonna do is open up your interaction menu go to the styles go to the illuminated clothing and spam it for about 30 seconds so just open up your interaction menu go to your styles go to illuminated clothing and spam it for about 30 seconds and from there it's gonna um, kick you from the match once you go afk on playstation i'm pretty sure you could do something with your recent activities to make it kick you out faster but i don't remember so just spam your illuminated clothing for about 30 seconds and just leave your controller and go afk till it kicks you out of the job So right here somewhere we're about to get kicked out it's gonna say you've been kicked from being ideal too long just go ahead and accept this alert right here and then when you get spawned inside your new session you're gonna get spawned with that exact same outfit so this outfit right here so from here all you want to do is just go ahead and make your way over to the um clothing store and then you're gonna buy the pumped motocross racing jersey you're gonna take off the helmet or the mask and then you're gonna um just buy some regular white sneakers um, and don't worry you're gonna get to um, keep the orange joggers so if you want to make different outfit with the orange joggers you can save it after you do the transfer glitch and then you can make a whole bunch of different outfits that you want but for now we're just gonna go over to the clothing store and you want to make sure you change the shoes because if you don't if you don't change the shoes they're gonna stay on the outfit so i'm just gonna put on the regular white sneakers and then for the tops you gotta have the pumped motocross racing jersey and that's gonna be in racing jersey and make sure you also take off the mask so once you've got the racing jersey and the um, shoes just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online go to jobs play jobs like start created go to versus and start up crooked cops when you start up Crooked Cops, you want to put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work. So put the clothing on player owned and invite either your friend or the random to join.
so once you get loaded inside of here you're just gonna go down to your owned outfits i'm just gonna wait for it to load so in here go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad two times and then you're gonna have this exact same outfit right here and from here you just want to go ahead and ready up if you don't like the gloves on the outfit you can change the gloves after you save the outfit so if you don't like the gloves you can just change it after you save the outfit So when you get loaded inside the mission, all you want to do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one that you bought from ammunition and then open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So once you get loaded inside your online session, you're gonna have that exact same outfit on. For me, just go to ammunition and go save the outfit. You can go ahead and delete the two components because you don't need them anymore. And from there, once you save the outfit, you can change it however you want and make up a bunch of different outfits with the orange joggers. But that's up to you. So if you guys enjoyed the video and got the outfit, don't forget to drop a like on it, share, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos.